But because right now we are talking about the presentation. I'm, ask, I'm asking you. you. Right no, now you are stop dodging the question, Bana. I'm no. asking you this question. He never knew his role as a class rep and he never, was never given any role. What was he doing as a class rep? Hello and welcome to the presidential debate which was scheduled to take place today the 30th of January 2024. I am your host Dalina Kini. And I Timo Nyangweso and as you have heard from my co-host we are going to have a hot presidential debate here in Mount Kenya University in Nakuru campus. Join us today as these four presidential aspirants tell us about their manifestos and what they've planned for the students of Mount Kenya University. My director is telling us as is that uh, they are all here and we are going to welcome them to come and start because we are seeing the seats are here. We'd like to give our gratitude to all the presidential aspirants who are great to be here today. We are grateful and as we begin we'd just like to usher you to give in your opening statements for two minutes. Thank you. Aspirant John Malbear, please the floor is yours. Uh, thank you madam. Uh, what I can tell you about John Mabir. Mabir is one of the students that has been tested in Mount Kenya leadership. I began my duty call of leadership here in Mount Kenya as a class rep. And I served as a class rep for two years and also served as a commissioner twice in two, two elective seasons. That few do define me in Mount Kenya. Other leadership careers. You can trace back in my high school where I became the head prefect of London College of St. Lawrence. In Kenya you say that one, that is a captain. And I was in position to control over 3,000 students under my leadership. All in all, what I can tell you is this leadership can happen through joint effort. Being an international student does not give me a guarantee that I'm the very best. By the time I've been here with you, I think you have tested my work and you people are very satisfied. That is why some of you pushed me for this post today. The agenda that I'm selling, I think they will come after. But I have a lot in hand to share with you, students. And uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Together we can and that is why we are here. Thank you. Our oh. next aspirant. Uh, thank you all. It is indeed a pleasure sitting here today to express our gratitude to this entire Comrades Welfare and the entire Mount Kenya University fraternity in the Kuru campus. Uh, we say that if you cannot explain it, then you don't know. And if you know, then you can explain it. The moment that you fail to explain to a six-year-old child, then you don't know. But if you know, you share. My name is Tony Ouma Ogembo a presidential aspirant for the position, I mean the presidential aspirant now. Uh, it is my greatest arch, intrinsic, meaning it has come to me with passion to serve the comrades from the start, that is from the September 2022 to the last time, September 2023. First, when I came to Mount Kenya University, I worked to help the rise of the Mkusna. Mount Kenya University Special Needs Association, which I became its chairperson. Before that, I had worked as the MCOSA 2022-2023 Commissioner, which I served as the chairperson at a point. And also, I joined the class rep later. I worked for the session 2022, September. It is indeed a pleasure that Tony Ogembo has not sat to relax ever since joining Mount Kenya University Nakuru campus. He has worked, he worked with the outgoing regime to come up with the following comrade for comrade initiative that is still su suspended because it's only Tony Ogembo who can understand it. I wrote its constitution. I came up with the brass band, the leader. I work for, served as a, an official. We, we worked also to rejuvenate a club called Mount Kenya University Red Cross, which I served as secret secretary. With all this, I think through my effort, forgetting also, I served as the second in command in the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Now I'm, I'm out. So I think with all this, if you join them together, not forgetting my high school history, 
in Kanga National School in Ngori County. I believe I can make a difference. Charismatic leader all the way, we can make the difference. Wow, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, it is my great pleasure to be invited here. This is a platform uh, that the students, you people that do create, for us to create a platform. So I'm really grateful with the humble beginning to say thank you for inviting us so that we may sell our agenda, our views to our fellow students. I really do appreciate you guys for the job that you are doing. May God bless you. My name is uh, Godmas Yuri Ogachi, uh, a student at Motkeo University in the School of uh, Business and Economics. I'm aspiring to be the president. Don't have a lot to explain about myself, but those who know my history, they will explain more about myself in your comments. And I really do appreciate for that. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. I to appreciate you all for this time and for this acknowledgement. I'm Rebecca Herrick, aspiring for president. And uh, what I would like to say about me, let me say people will say about me. Because people are the ones who I have learned. And the people are the ones that know me better. And another thing that I will say about the leadership. Leadership is abandoned. Abandoned is what a man or a, or a woman carries towards other people. So I may say I have abandoned for the MKU fraternity or MKU conference. And uh, uh, Linda is the one that will stand in a courage and very brave to fight towards the comrades' welfare. So mine is this. I may say I want to be a Linda, but I don't have abandoned towards this student or towards the MKU comrades. So that makes me know a Linda, and that won't show any leadership in me. But if you have abandoned, not just being a Linda, or not just being called Medeka Eric, the president of MKU, or not just being called whatever you will be called as the president of MKU, but having abandoned towards the countries, that will make you a good leader. Because a Linda is a warrior, and a warrior is somebody that is ready to lose everything that he has on behalf of the countries. So, I will say that I'm aspiring to be that Linda and to be the warrior for Combrin, so that at least I will show something for the Combrin. Not that Combrin will suffer as I am the president of the MKU. I have served a lot. I have been a Christian Union member. When I came here, I was issued a position as the assistant usher. I have served for that the regime of 2022-2023. Currently, before uh, I started aspiring for Nkusa president, I resigned. I was the organizing secretary for Christian Union. And through that, I have learned a, a lot about the student. I have learned a, a lot about the welfare of the student. So I have socialized with the many students. I know what they face. I know the troubles because I have been ushering them in whatever that they, are. they have been asking me to usher them in. So, my finalizing, I will say this, Alinda is a warrior. And a warrior is rendered to lose everything for the sake of the, of the, or, or the little ones that he is still in. Mm -hmm. Or Alinda is a commander in chief. In Ame we say, better you die than going no home with a shame. In Dagibe we, we normally say, it's better you, you lose whatever you have in your body so that you make your game or you make your, your team to win. So, mine is this. I'm ready to lose anything for the sake of MKU content, and that's why I'm aspiring to be the leader in the last. And now we are in electioneering period. Now, we understand that in Mount Kenya University in Akuru Campus, we have five positions. We have the president, the vice, we have the secretary, and even we have the, the academic. Why this position of presidency? Is it that uh, the other position are not fit for you, or maybe if I can start with uh, Fabio? Uh, that one is a very good question. Thank you, sir. Uh, all the positions are very good in their respective order. But you going for that seat, 
it means a lot for you. Remember all this position, they will all report to the chair at the end of the day. It means the chair act as an overseer of the situation that is going on. When I became a class rep for two years, I was working hand in hand with the academic secretary. Things did not work the way I expected them to work. And uh, it's not that I'm just blaming the current regime that uh, is just leaving. They have tried their best, but there are things that are not fulfilled. That is why I have decided to, actually I was supposed to go for academic. Because if I was a class rep, my role is to go for academic. But me going for this seat, it means I have a big agenda for a student, but not for academic token. I hope uh, that question is really answered well, and uh, thank you. Uh, Timo, yes. when you ask us that uh, we aspired uh, to the president, of course yes. But in everything before you do anything, at the end of the day you lose a consultation yes. of some individuals, right? Yes. Uh, to my side, uh, I never aspired for it. But it is due to comrade who wanted it and they felt it like you can work very well under this position. And this happened, uh, that is the reason why that we came up with a slogan saying that in comrade squanza. They mean that they want the, their affairs to be listened to too. So since they want their affairs to be listened to, at the end of the day, what are they pushing for? They need for somebody who can push for their affairs. Do you understand that? So since they want for somebody who can push for their affairs, who can articulate for what they feel like, uh, in this side, uh, maybe we are not getting enough of what is required from us. Do you understand I can that? Cut you, please. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, it mean, it, does it mean that uh, the previous regime, they don't do anything? Or uh, they they did a lot. Mm -hmm. The previous regime did a lot. But at the end of the day, you would say that they did everything. Mm -hmm. There is some gap that they left behind. Since there is the, some gaps that they left behind, and I've been working so closer with them, and I feel like that there is some gaps that they left behind because the time that they were given, that is one year, it was a little bit limited. Now again, I wish to aspire and push for whatever that they remained. Wow, thank you. Yes. So, to be a Linda, I have seen them being a warrior. So, and a warrior stands in front. So, aspiring to be the president of MKU, that it means a lot. Meaning the president is the overseer of everyone in the MKU fraternity. So, it will act as the link between the student and the administration. It will also act as the link to the welfare of any kind, even outside there, of the student and the administration for, for this. In case of something bound up to the student, obviously it's the president of the school must be consultant first so that the student that has been affected will be seen or will be catered from. So the presidency is the one that is that he oversees everything, not this other, not that these other chairs or these other positions are bad. No, they are good. Secretary General, Academic Finance, Vice Chair, all these are good. But the chairperson will oversee everything. So and if you oversee everything, then you will be ready to fight for everything for the student. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Maybe Tony. It is uh, by virtue of but you are a leader. And at instances that if you don't know, people will tell you. Please, can you try this? I think we have the, we issue, I usually stress on the three aspects of life, the social aspect, the political aspect, and the economic aspect. Mostly, before you make a decision for the economic aspect, you see it. But the crucial one is the political aspect. You, you first of all listen to the crowd, the students. What are they saying about you before coming to conclusion? I remember last, year, that is between September 2022 and that's May 2023, many students were approaching me, Tony, you have seen your commitment as a leader. What if you try to be the president of MKU? I said, give me time to think about this. Meaning you have seen a potential in me and it's upon me now to unleash the limitless potential in me and do it for the comrades. The decision was based on the Comrades, that's why you say charismatic leadership where skills apply. Wow, thank you. And this has been a concerned 
I think you've been in this school for three years, right? You've seen incoming and outgoing president. Others gave promises they did not fulfill. Others said this, and then when they got into that Mukosa seat, they they were totally different. So you, in your positions, as you've been here for three good years, what are you planning to do differently? What is unique of you from the different aspirants that have been there, the outgoing Mukosa chair? What are you planning to do different? Because we've seen them saying this and doing this, saying this and doing the other thing. What is unique about you as a presidential aspirant? So we are not going to give you over promising and we give you fake promises that are not going to be achieved, bro. What we are going to do is to articulate for you what we feel like these combats need this. This is the academic. We are here for academic excellence. Nobody wants to be here for more than the exact semester. Nobody wants to be here and enjoy the privileges that are not important to him. Either talents will initiate them. I've been the school MC, right? I've been the MC at Montreal University in Akuru Campus. For let me say it twice. Do you understand that? We need some of the things that students need to be done for them. So I'm going to be real. I'm not going to make fake promises that are not achievable. No, I am a unique case. That's why I'm aspiring. The greatest thing that I'm make, going to make different is the part for inclusive, inclusivity, where our comrades' voice is heard, unleashing the limitless pot potential of comrades. What I only experience is what, 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 or what I can only see is just looking about the needs, and others can't be implemented. My question is why? And I can't promise that, that the company that I can do that, but mine is this. I'm ready to fight, as I said, Alinda is a warrior, and I'm ready to stand, so that what I, that what I promise is, I can implement them through what? Through the administration. Because I, as Alinda, I'm just a president. And if I'm a president, I'm, I'm the ambassador the link in between the student and the administration. And uh, the good thing, this is a private university. The administration or the fraternity does not just start here in MKU and Akuru campus. We have others in Lika. So there are so many, so much and so many things that I can do. So if I want this for the student, then if there is another place that I can go, then I'm ready to stand for that. That's what I've seen. I may say I will do, but once this president or these leaders sit in that chair, most of them, they, why do they aspire to be leaders? So they aspire to be leaders for power and for money. So just as in Kenya, mine is this. If a leader lacks love for the country, then he's not a leader. But when you have the internet and the idea, you'll gather all these things, and perform excellently. That is that is where you'll have a software. For example, if you have our own software here for Mount Kenya University, like journalism, it will be giving you something on social media. Once it is monetized through YouTube, we need to make our own. We need to make these students to be job creators, not job seekers. I'm being told by my director that I should allow the aspirants to take a sip of water, so don't go away. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back viewers, we are still here with our debate, presidential debate from Mount Kenya University Nakuru campus and uh, if you have your views, you can send through our SMS number, they are there on your screen, so please continue watching for this and much more. What are the things that you're going to do to ensure that these problems that you're facing in the common units, it's no more? What are you going to do? Yes, Tony? Uh, on my part, the first thing that I can say, first, first that I'm a leader of the Mount Kenya University, the greatest thing that I can do is to keep the administration on toes. Uh, I was studying the structure of student leadership keenly. And sometimes bring a complaint, and then there is nobody doing the follow-up. And uh, on my personally, on my own part, if I saw once a student facing that challenge, I'll come, pick you go to the MCOS office, pick a leader there, go to the any concerned party, for example the DDRA, work on that thing and everything is going to be sorted. Sorry to cut you short, you will pick one student, what about the rest of the students? You will take a, one... Wait, wait a minute Darlene, there is something that you are bringing in contradiction 
he has said he has been doing it. So it means that it has never become successful. So as he becomes as the president, how will it be successful? What I'm trying to say is, if you, you said you, you take that student to the Mkosa and then you go to the administration and all that. But if you take this one student, there's another one there at home who tried to do the online exam with his laptop, it did not work out. He came to the academic minister of education, account there, I tried to do this, it did not work, please help me. I can follow up and then nothing happens. I, I think on my, let me conflict before cutting me short. Okay. I said the first thing, I'll keep the administration on toes. Keeping on toes, the first thing we usually do, uh, we have many students, let's say for example Nakuru campus, we have 3,526 students, both virtual and regular. I'm talking on real statistics. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I do present sometimes the debate students. Some somebody is calling you about this and this issue. I believe as a leader, you cannot satisfy everybody. And in the instance that satisfy one person, make that person to be satisfied completely. The first thing, the administration should listen to this. I was handling that as a class rep. Now I'm going to handle as a, a president. I only ask you this. You have been serving as the class rep for a whole year. Okay? How many common units have you been catering? Have you been doing? No. Oh, it's okay, Eric, under that question, you're asking him. At the first, he said uh, he has been doing it, yeah. picking one student, yes. going to Mkusa, picking the student from one of the Mkusa member, then taking him to the admin. Yeah. Meaning that, uh, he has been solving the problem. Has it been solved or not? Me this is, was a class rep. No. Just a minute, Fabio. He has said that he has been doing it, meaning it has never been successful. So if he becomes the president, he will you convince us that he will be Sorry, successful? Maybe if I can cut you short, please, because we are not fighting uh, Tony. No. We want to each and every of you to give the opinion or the views. No, we are not fighting him. Mm -hmm. No. Because Take that they, from me tomorrow. From the angle that you are taking. No, we are not time. fighting him. I am questioning him that. Yeah. He has been doing it. It has never become successful. If he becomes yeah, the president, let, how will it let's be? Come, let's let me come. 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 Let me Point of order, please. Let me finish. Let, let me just okay. Let me give this to Nini have a chance to explain, please. The thing is very simple. Yes. It was last year that they introduced the online common unit, mm. isn't it? Yes. Yes. We experienced it for the first time yes. in the history of all Kenya. Mm. And mm. Uh, if I'm to ask you, who are the one in charge? That is the ICT department. Mm -hmm. huh? And the problem, if I'm to ask you right now, where is, where is the problem coming from? It is coming from the department of, of MIS, if you don't know that man. So that one <coughs> came as a result, like uh, it was the first thing to be tested, like election that happened last year. Uh -huh. And I believed if one of us can make in the office, hmm, what you can do as my old presidential aspirant here, is to sit down with the department before the student go for the exam. Mm -hmm. So that you can talk. If there are problems that are going to arise, then you have reason where to solve them. If a student has failed, for example, on that day to do the exam, there's that option of you doing rescheduling. There's always that period that is given. Mm -hmm. And you can a student also has a, that position of doing that exam within 24 hours. Have you noticed that? The paper is not like uh, the the usual paper we do in the hall. Mm -hmm. The paper has 24 hours of you doing that. So all I can ask you, my brothers, huh? when you're all in the office or anyone goes in the office, mm -hmm. is you to go and sit down with the department of uh, MIS. Excuse me, Mabior. And that's it's not 24 hours, it's 12 hours. Yes, not 24 hours, it's 12 hours. Thank you for correction. Mm -hmm. That is noted. Uh, all you can do is to talk with the MIS. And MIS, how do you get them? For me, I had a challenge. I'm one of the testimony. And uh, my problem was entrepreneurship. The person that directed me was Dr. Morris, and I talked direct to the main campus. I still have that number up to date. Main campus, they also directed me to Mr. Emmanuel, in charge of ICT. Huh? You know Mr. Emmanuel, yes. I believe, Kodmas. Yes, sure. All of them the world. When they communicated, they gave me an laptop, and my thing worked out. And some of the colleagues on that point that were doing with me, well, mm -hmm. they were in position to survive. And um, the complaint that I made, so, yeah. All in all, what I can ask you, mm -hmm. uh, this thing, the, they can be solved. I There's see. nothing that has no 
uh, is, uh, uh, there is no problem that is permanent. The problem always arises, but how do you handle that problem? Mm -hmm. that okay, so in your case, yes, you are not please. able to do the exam. I was in position to do the exam. But you had not done it before. The, the, let's say the software was the problem, right? The software had the problem. The problem is the software okay. because it was something that just introduced. Okay, it so is not very perfect. And sometimes it is, it, is, it is connected with the internet. Yeah. Hmm? When so the internet is not very stable. Mm -hmm. There is you that was not able because of the software, but there is this person mm. that started doing the exam and reached, let's say, number 10 or 15, and it submitted itself. There's, there's nothing he or she can do, mm. and he'll get on his grade book, he'll get that F because he or she was not able to do the exam. Darlene, How do you help you this person? Yeah. 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 Darlene, if well, I can just, because I understand, no, yeah. Montana well, University is not right. facing the only yeah. the one yeah. challenge. Yeah. Yeah. We have different challenges. Yes. And maybe because we are going to discuss this uh, issue of both the portal, yeah. we are going to discuss that. I will give uh, maybe Cosmas uh -huh. the chance to explain uh -huh. so that uh, if you, I will give you the chance, please can you use only one minute because of time. Yes. So we see the challenges that are facing the student, not this only this uh, about the many portal issues. We have, we have about that many issues. And if we, we need just uh, rely on one issue, we will not go anywhere. So, Kodma, uh, please take the then at least. Uh, first, uh, I would like to appreciate my friend uh, Mabior mm -hmm. and Tony. They have been really good class reps and uh, they have really performed well in their class position, of which if they continue serving under that class rep, it will be really appreciated because they will serve the comrades up to satisfaction. Then, to my side, uh, of talking about uh, the issue of unit, uh, I know this platform was introduced up last year, right? And even if you start a business at the end of the day, at the beginning, it has got a lot of challenges. Sure. Right? Since it has got a lot of challenges, these are the challenges that we are facing as Mount Kenya University in large. Not only either in Akuru campus, Mombasa campus, Eldoret campus salon, but the entire the school. From outside? Uh, the, from outside, of course, yes, we have friends from Eldoret, we have friends from main campus, we have friends from... Mombasa campus. Again, uh, uh, of course, Kenya. that is Mount Kenya University in large, right? Because yes. we are family. We are not alone, right? Uh, so what I can say is this. My initiative is that Congress Kwanza, let our affairs be listened first. So whatever that I'm going to articulate for is to ensure at least the promise that they bring in. And your case was genuine. The time that you were given, uh, at least there was a problem that these exams have been itself. Then again, we can articulate for that thing that uh, this student, you can observe that this way, this way, the case was uh, genuine. You're supposed to do your exam how many hours? Three hours or two hours? Three hours. Three hours, right? And your case is genuine that it submitted at your itself uh, at some point and the system was having a problem. But it's an issue now that we are coming at the comrades Kwanza. Let our affairs be listened. As so, for them. Yes, Eric, you know, the my brothers here have been serving as the Classrooms. Yes. Okay. You know, if you have been serving as a classroom and uh, you are the overseer of the class, like our class for 2022 September has a big lunch number of students, right? But you, you have been serving as the classroom, you know the welfare of this student, you have not kitten the means, okay? This student for 2022 September and these others. They have been facing a lot of problems. Currently, let me say in a common unit, we are about like more than a thousand in a class. You, you have been in a class, right? but we are like a thousand in a class. Tell me the man or the girl at the back, the lady there at the back, what will be they be listening to. You have been in a class, right? don't forget that. Going to the online platform, these exams and these online unit. What have you done as the class rep? How are we sure when we when the comrade elect you as the president of MKU? If the administration is not very stable to do this, how are we sure that you speak for the comrade and this online unit or even be removed from being online will be doing them through like other students? There's a question I have for you. Yes. If you saved them as class representatives. Yes. But that's their work is only to go and tell the Mkusa. Mm -hmm. It's the Mkusa that link their administration and the Mkusa. Yes. So it's not 
for the class rep to go to the administration and tell them to do it. Listen, listen, it's listen the class me, rep who goes to the Mkusa and listen, the Mkusa listen to me the administration. You are, listen to me. You are the, the student, Linda. Listen, listen to me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, just a minute more. Wait, wait, uh, listen, listen to me. Uh, just a minute, Eric. Eric. Just a minute, Eric. Kindly, please. Darlene, you said that you have been in a class lab. Yeah. Me have asked Tony a question that he, he has not answered me. He said at the beginning of the statement saying that he has been a class lab, right? Mm -hmm. He has been picking students with the same problems, yeah. taking yeah. them to the admin, uh, and the problem has not been solved. The Meaning the that if yeah. it becomes the, the problem, how will the problem be solved? If yeah. he never solved the, the class lab, the problem. The 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 not that he's the problem. problem. He's the one who said this. this yeah. Not my words. This his words. Let him repeat his words. This blame game should stop. Mm -hmm. I was not born a class rep. I was born a leader. I'm a leader. And that's for that purpose, I think Mount Kenya University do not have functions of class rep, do they? You know, Tony. Just wait, just, just wait, wait. Just, wait. Okay. just wait, do they? Then what were your roles? What is your role as an, an MC? My role? I, I'm a master of ceremony of an event. Well, were they perfect? Now, Look remember that you are uh, here live and uh, there are those just students minute. who are watching us there yeah. uh -huh. and now you are the leaders uh -huh. who are, they are waiting to elect you. Uh -huh. And if we are going to bring all these things... He's saying, uh, going Timo, anyway. he's saying, uh, to, let me uh, come, just let a minute, Timo, <laughs> he's saying uh, that he was a class rep, then what roles was you at the clinic? I was, not yes, a young. Yes, he doesn't have a role. I was, not a young. He was. He was. Then what was his role? What is he was he at the Now college? we are not talking about that role, but because right now we are talking about the presidential role. I'm, ask, I'm asking you. you. Are, right no, now you are a Stop dodging the question, Bana. No. I'm asking you this question. He never knew his role as a class rep and he never, was never given any role. What was he doing as a class rep? But what are we talking about here? We are not hey. here because of class, class representatives. We are here the because one about that. of people aspiring to be president. Yes. Yes. That is the main core and reason why we are here. So let's focus on what's brought us here. I think my ideology was incomplete by, after interference by my worthy competitor, Kodi Masogachi. I really appreciate it. You recognize me that way. No problem. Thank you. Please, let's come to this. And uh, we should not underestimate somebody because of the history. You never know my history. And that's why I am here to write it again. I was a class rep. I said that I came up with clubs. Were they, were they the functions of class reps? No. But this were, comes to this. I know those who I took never failed. Because I said, a leader, you cannot satisfy everybody. That's why, even no matter the great you are, you must have an opponent. And no matter the way, the way you are in leadership, let's say, for example, the former president of the United States, Barack Obama, was he having oppos opponents? Opposition? So, yes. Mr. Tony. Let me just, let me just come to that. Yes. And uh, it is, you only will believe that you will only throw stones at a tree that bear fruits. I'm very happy that you have thrown the stones. That means that I was bearing fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody has thrown stones to you. Uh, we just questioned whatever that you said. At the end of the day, nobody has thrown stones I think, to you. I think I have witnesses. And I think so. Uh, this is not a moment of argument. And uh, you know, we really appreciate. It was a moment of expression, right? I, I think, really appreciate. I, think I, I don't think that it is a moment that we start arguing with that question there. For, for now we are going to, uh, because of time, because the time... For the students there. watching me, I think they are witnesses of what I have done. You know, Mr. Tony, I have a question for this. You know, as a Linda, I said again, you are the world. You stand in that gap and feel it. You have been a classroom, okay? Many students are um, like IT. So, we are speaking of the student in education, okay? Let us not uh, let me say that class that you are the class. You know, if a matter or if something is not good in a class, if the course of office does not fulfill that need, you as the class, there's director, there's DDRI, there's Dean Andros. There are so many leaders in this administration. So my question is this, what did you do or what did you, what step did you do? No, we'll come to that. This that is not much important for now, but uh, we are going to discuss that later. But uh, because of time, I will ask maybe the last question before we wind up. John, remember you are still a student in Mount Kenya University Nakuru campus. Yeah. Uh, the question is, how are you going to balance between the leadership and the classwork? Because we understand that at the end of the day, you are still a student. Uh, on my side, I think for you to be a leader. As my opponent has said, you lead by example. You don't forgo all the, the other aspects of life. And uh, you must create time. When time is not there, you create time. 
that is suitable for your work. Let's say, for example, uh, you can be a leader. Will you be a leader at night? No. You will be, but you will not be continuing the duty in the student fraternity. That means that you have a time, between, let's say, between 6 to 6 the next day. You can create that to be your time for doing your studies, attending classes also. Don't forget that you came here for academics. And also to this connection. We are leaders. Let's assume, and Tony, please. Mm -hmm. Let's assume that right now you have a meeting with your leadership and then there's a class is going on. Which, which way are you going to take? Uh, because now the biggest function is to represent the students. Yes? Mm -hmm. And usually in the history, we can find that uh, you have some commitments that are more important than other. Academics is important, yes. Mm -hmm. But can you have a meeting the next, the next time? No, it is there. In the scale of business, the, I can say scale of preference, meeting is there to solve the case of a student. You can come up to lectures, you get the notes, you get updated about the notes. Have you started the situation at the same time? Yes. Thank you, Timo. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and at that question, I think so, uh, leadership is a responsibility. Right? It's like being a parent and you studying. So according to me and according to my view, is this way. Uh, in that course, I'm not going to be alone. That is the first thing that you should understand. So I'll be having another four members that I will be working with. The reasons why that I'm here and the reasons I will tell you that I will be real. I don't want to be fake and give you fake promises. The reasons why we are here is because of academic excellence, right? Yes. Uh, so what I will do is this way. A class cannot be postponed, right? Mm. Because of me. But a class cannot be attended on my behalf. But a meeting can be attended on my behalf. Is that right? Mm. So what I will do is this. Send the next in command on my behalf to that meeting, then I attend a class. Wow, thank you. What about you, Mabio? That one is a very good question. I have my photo here. These are my recent results. They will speak for me. If I have a C, then you will see there. <coughs> Academics is very important. I've been a leader and I'm still also a leader. I know leadership has never interrupted my academic performance. A person that is not academically excellent qualified to be qualified to be qualified qualified to be leader. That one is a draft. Because you cannot be a leader when you are stupid mentally. You have to be upright. And the reason why we are here is based on academics. Mount Kenya University, what will get out with us is what is called certificate recognizing you. One of the examples that I can give will have uh, Dr. Babu Wino right now. He is a leader and academically sharp. How does he balance it? Leadership is a responsibility. Books also are also our own responsibility. And in leadership there is something called delegation. I know all my cabinet we don't have the same classes. I'm pretty sure. Some are from maybe animal health, uh, business, and uh, maybe journalism because I might have if I trust someone, for example, I can delegate you. And that is called leadership. Leadership is not about dictating everything for yourself, but you also groom others to also exercise democratic right. But that one, Timo, you have seen my foot on there. Is yes. there a C? No. It is B and above. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. Your, yes, Mr. Eric. Oh, what I would say about the uh, standards or learning or the leadership, a good student is always in front of the teacher. Okay? A good student is what? Always in front of the teacher. So, as a leader, being the president of MKU, I would be sitting and enrolling there alone. On a free time, I would be making sure that I'm always in front of my teacher. So that, in case, you know, I might be having a meeting today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, the day after, the day after tomorrow. But, if I'm, I'm in front of the teacher with the standards, then I won't be affected and I'll pursue well because I'm already prepared for everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.
Thank you very much. We have a lot of questions, but because of time, we are going to wind up. But because before we wind up, one minute, your parting shots. Uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity. I really appreciate all of you. Without the, the journalism club, this would not happen. Tomorrow, on 31st, we have a presidential debate at 11. We therefore ask all of you to be there, listen to our views. We will explain in abundance. You'll be in position to ask us questions. However much, I do encourage all the students to register as voters so that they will give us the right delegate. And the right delegate will definitely give you academic genius leaders with leadership as part of their responsibility. And how do we make that? My slogan says, together we can. And to, together, it doesn't mean it is Mabir. It is you, Tony, and other people that if I made it in the office, they will always join me and we'll make it together. Thank you all and have a blessed afternoon. Thank you. Uh, it's, I thank you all for taking my time to be here with us. And uh, on my part, making the charismatic work, it needs both of us to be involved, the students and the leaders and themselves. It's the students and leaders, but when we combine the effort, we can make the difference. Let's make it happen. I promise that in my manifesto, we can make the difference. We not a sit again the way we were last year. And I wish one day also the journalism, journalism club in my ideology, we have the first Mount Kenya University semester journal and magazines is coming. Support the good leader. Let's make the difference. Let's bring this thing home. It is only you who can make it happen. Charismatic all the way. It is for you, by you. Thank you. Uh, to my side, I would like to appreciate you guys. It is a platform uh, that you really create a, a market for us so that we reach competency outside there in large and uh, where you, are, you also practice uh, whatever that you are learning in school. We really do appreciate for the chance. Uh, uh, my idea is to say that uh, whatever that you are doing here, is so appreciative and what I would like to say that I wish that next time when you do it at least invite more and more even from other universities from other universities you make it large you interact with each other at least we sell the ideas that we have we sell the agendas that we have and we feel like uh, yeah it is like it was wow so to you guys I really do appreciate you may God bless you to comrades over there we really appreciate you what I'm saying is comrades ones let our affairs be listened first before anything else I really thank you thank you Eric I'll say in conclusion, you are doing great job and I keep it up. But don't do it only on debate, but there are other classes like this common unit. You can join the lecturer there and take at least a record of what he is teaching. For those students who can't or even can't listen to what the lecturer is teaching, they can go through them through online platform or other means. So mine is this. I'm encouraging you, keep them going to work on. And I'm encouraging the comrade, just choose a leader that carries your bandwidth. Don't just, don't just choose a leader because he has manifesto. No. But because he has a bandwidth for you. Manifesto means nothing without a bandwidth for you. Be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Just the last thing I wish to leave for the students yes. is saying this. Uh, when you feel pain uh, for yourself, know that you are alive. But when you feel pain for the others, know that you are human. For the pain that I have for the comrades, I feel like a lot is needed. And I will do for you the best that I can. Thank you and may God bless you all. Thank you. Well said, well said. Thank you very much to our presidential aspirants for making this Thank you. 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 Thank you.